If you're using the Samsung Odyssey G4 and want to get the most out of it for gaming and picture quality, here's a solid setup you can start with. I'll keep it simple and talk through the adjustments just like if we were setting it up together. First, go into the monitor's on-screen display settings. Set picture mode to custom so you can actually tweak things. Turn brightness all the way up to 100 to get the most out of the panel. Contrast works well around 75, and sharpness at 60 keeps the image clean without looking overprocessed. Turn off contrast enhancer, it tends to mess with image consistency. Leave color tone on normal and set gamma mode to 2 for more balanced shadows and highlights. Now, jump into the gaming section of the monitor menu. Turn game mode on, it unlocks all the performance features. Adaptive sync should be on if your GPU supports it. Set response time to fastest to reduce ghosting. Black equalizer between 10 and 15 is great for spotting enemies in darker scenes. Turn eye saver mode off if you want the full brightness and color. Also, turn off dynamic contrast and leave VR off if adaptive sync is already on. If you want to tweak colors manually, Set red, green, and blue all to 50. That's a good neutral starting point. You can always adjust later depending on your preferences. If you're on a PC, you can fine tune even more through your graphics control panel. In NVIDIA control panel, keep brightness and contrast at 50%, gamma at 0.85 and bump digital vibrance to around 60 to 70% if you want more punch in your colors. Turn image sharpening off unless a game really needs it. For 3D settings, leave anisotropic filtering and anti-aliasing as application controlled. Turn FXA off, set low latency mode to ultra, and make sure power management is set to prefer maximum performance. If you're using an AMD GPU, just follow the same idea. Keep the fancy enhancements minimal, turn on FreeSync if your monitor supports it, and prioritize performance or low latency in the advanced options.